Welcome back, friend. We're going to continue on our series with the Human Design Creative Series. And today's conversation is around this question. How are you going to measure whether you've made it or not? Now, you might be going, hold on, Leanne, we're only like four videos in. Um, I just started imagining my my dream life, really what I want. And now you're already asking me if, like how I'm gonna measure myself. And here's the reason why I'm sticking this in here now is there's, there's, a, there's a couple couple things. First, celebrate the small things. Have your reticular activating system, your subconscious mind begin to reprogram it to celebrate even the smallest things so that if there's a time where you default back into um, beating yourself up, maybe being a little harsh with yourself in your internal dialogue, that those celebrations, there's more of those than the negative inner talk. And second, it's, it's really, really, really important to think about the validation point. Where do you think that you're going to be validated? Where will the validation come from? Um, how will you know if you've made it? Now, I'm bringing this up because of a coaching call that I had this week. And in, in, in the call with my client, we were co conversing about, you know, like, what is it that you want? And then, you know, what are all the things that you're doing right now? Really, what lights, lights you up? What brings you joy? All those kind of things. And she, she began the conversation with a metric and a dollar figure attached. And her, her demeanor was kind of humdrum about that, that, the initial conversation. And then as the coaching call went by, the rest of it had no monetary conversation at all, no metrics, and her whole body language opened up, her shoulders went back, life was excellent when she was talking about creating and marketing and networking and collaborating and the, the, the teaching and the workshops that she does, all of that just brought her to this space of like it was like a breath of fresh air. So as we were walking through, I challenged her at the end of the call about the metric that she set out at the very beginning. Because the metric itself um, was such a small monetary uh, compensation, but yet the metric. So like, it was like, you know, I have this many followers and, and that's what's gonna make me happy. And I'm like, hmm, is this really one of the spaces that um, you think about or you put energy towards is this metric? And she's like, well, it's gonna validate me. I'm like, okay, but what about all the rest of the stuff that actually fills up your cellular structure, fills you with joy? And I kept probing because I wanted to know why the metric was so important because the metric equaled a very little dollar amount. And after just a few more probing questions, she's like, oh, that's not, that's not my metric. That's actually not my goal. It's my husband's goal. Ah, okay. So that's why I'm bringing this up. Make sure that whatever you have set out for a goal or a validation that quote unquote, you've made it. Um, make sure that it's yours. Make sure that um, it aligns to who you are in your design, your purpose. And here's the reason why I say this too, is 
Because if, if the validation and the metric set out and the target is, is that, and yet it, it doesn't, isn't cohesive with the rest of the design, that small little um, goal or target, or I shouldn't even say small, because it could be large too, um, that target, if it's not in alignment, what it does is it will, it will take up your mental space. And again, this is why at the beginning I said, like, cheer yourself on. Even at the smallest little tiny things, cheer yourself on. Yes, I did that. You know, I remember when I first started this business. Oh, I, I would get so frustrated with software and trying to connect everything. I would get so frustrated. And then I just went, hold on a minute. What if this is easy? What if this could just be easy? Instead of getting frustrated and avoiding it, I moved through the process with ease, celebrating myself along the way. Did I still make mistakes? Yes. Were there still times where clients were trying to book and the links weren't working? Yes, there's probably still stuff in my YouTube channel descriptions that have those broken links. However, I celebrated along the way. And then all of a sudden, the process became um, kind of exhilarating. Because I went from not knowing how to do this stuff, having it be frustrating, to having it be filled with ease and exhilarating. And I didn't have to beat myself up anymore. Now, that wasn't my... <laughs> the goal of it was to, to make myself and to allow myself satisfaction in the process. The moment I felt the frustration or recognized the frustration, I went, okay, hold on a minute. <laughs> What's the internal dialogue? What am I doing to myself? So I want you to do the same. What's the internal dialogue? When a lot of clients come to me, you know, <laughs> it's so interesting because they come in different different pathways. Some of them already have their business. They just want to scale it. They want to touch themselves at a different um, space and time and, and, and live that life that they want. But they know all the processes. They're doing all that. And I have some that don't even know what a business would even entail for them. And what is important here is that we lean into knowing that we validate ourselves based off of our design, based off of what is defined in us, what is our profile, what's our purpose. Look at those metrics. So defining and setting out satisfaction as a target is much easier than saying to myself, that, um, you know, I need to have this software and this software, and it has to talk, and it has to do it within the next 30 minutes, and pressurizing myself for a process that I may or may not be able to accomplish. So when I was doing those things and forcing myself, the frustration was behind that. And it took up all of my mental space because I was beating myself up constantly, constantly, constantly. Till I went, whoa, let's just celebrate the small wins. Celebrate those little things that actually do work. Celebrate the very first time that I set up, you know, my, my emails. All of those kind of things. So take a look at how you're validating yourself. How will you know if you've made it? And is that validation actually good for you? Is it healthy? Is it part of your design? Again, my client was setting a, a, a metric that wasn't actually hers. So her thought pattern all the time 
was thinking about that metric. And yet she was doing all of these other magnificent things and still feeling as though she hadn't made it. That that metric hadn't been ticked off her box. And she's a very, 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 very successful businesswoman. So I want you to do that. Sit down, write out, how will I know if I've actually made it? What are my criteria? Listen to everything that's going on in the internal dialogue. Do you cheer yourself on every day for just the smallest things? You know, I picture myself all the time inside my mind. Like, oh, yes. You know, just mm, bringing it in and congratulating myself. And I would love for you to do the same thing. So in our creative series this week, know what your validation point is. And I'm just going to throw this in here right now. Defined and undefined egos. This is probably going to be an area that might have to be explored to understand validation. Now, every, every single aspect of the design, all 1,080 different variations of the gates, um, all the different variations and configurations that can happen with a center. They all have their own little nuances. So just begin to observe. Observation allows you to understand yourself at a, at a very deep level. Is the validation point yours or is it the collective's? Is it your husband's? Is it your boss's? Is it your child's? Really understand that validation point and make it your own. Celebrate the small things and have fun creating this business. All right, friends, until next week, take care.